After all these years, what has Barnsley Football Club meant in your life? Well, I've enjoyed it because, uh, I mean, we've had good games and bad games, but uh, we've we played like some of we played this year, we've played Champion League Cup. You see, it's made all the difference because the people wouldn't go down the vault winning now. It's getting too dear. Well, they don't go down now. You can hear them going away when they play bad. We're such a, we're such a thing of playing bad with bad teams. Let him Blackpool beat us. Not how to come after all that performance. But anyway, it's been worth it, I'm sure, after, what, nearly 2,000 matches. Ah, I, I love it. I can't believe it at times. But don't think I'm lying. I don't lie. There's nothing to lie for. <laughs> Marvellous, isn't he? Two of Barnsley's young fans there, Wilf Baxter and John Willie Sheard. Wonderful characters with memories of those great moments in Barnsley's history. Danny, it really is remarkable, that, as we were saying, there's something different about a Barnsley fan, and those two chaps sum it all up in a way, don't they? Yes, I think so. But, although I do think you'll find those kind of fans uh, at most clubs. Uh, I mean, whether a club is... A, a, a football club is like a, a family in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a town or a city and it represents the kind of city because of that. Uh, we used to have an old trainer who used to say that every elephant was an animal, but every animal wasn't an elephant. And what he meant, there was a variety, a variety of people, and the great idea of football is, is to get unity out of a variety of characters and produce it, and nothing's more magic than that. It's very sad in a way that Barnsley has never graced the first division. I mean, why do you think that is, and will Barnsley ever make it to the first division? I think there's a, in, in, a, in any equation of success, there's, you've got to have resources. Uh, the more resources you have, the more players you can buy and things like that. And I think that Barnsley, uh, if they get to the first division, and I hope that one day they will, they'll still be stretching, you see. They'll still be stretching. It, it, uh, we were second when I was here. We were second in the league for a while. And then right, yeah, used to say, wait until November came. And when November that came, we well. lost about five matches or six matches. Yeah. And, yeah. and that we were out of it. Sid, do you still follow the fortunes of the team? Uh, not very often. I've been down a couple of times this year. And, uh, but I don't get down purely and simply through hooligans. Really? Mm. That's what puts you off? Yes, yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. It's, not, not only myself, but quite a number of people. Right. They'll not take their sons down but, you know, with, with this trouble. Now, that yeah. would never have happened in your... Do you, do you think that uh, the money has had a large part to play? I mean, what were you paid, for example, when you were a player with Barnsley? Well, when, uh, when we played, it was uh, £15 maximum wage. And now, of course, a player could earn, what, £1,000 a week, Danny? Well, yeah. You can't earn it, you get it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference. True, yeah. I, I think quite so, a difference, yeah. yeah. Everybody mm. knows the price of things now. Nobody knows the value of them anymore. And I think uh, we live in different times, and, and they're difficult times for football because... Uh, football is on the precipice, really, financially, you see. It was never meant to be for money. It was meant to be for glory, which is why all, all those old characters yeah. come in. Yeah. And yet, I mean, evolution has determined that there are better things about football today. I mean, training, for example. When you trained with Angus Seed, I mean, I think you hated a lot of it, didn't you? Well, uh, no, I didn't hate it. I wanted to do more with the ball, but in those days, uh, it's a very, you know, I've told it so many times. I came back from an international match and uh, I wasn't happy with my ball control and skill because I played against better players and I, I came to see Angus and I think he thought I was asking for a transfer when I wanted to see him and <coughs> he rather reluctantly he saw me and when I came in I said, uh, he said, well what can I do for you? I said, well I want to come back in the afternoon with the ball and he nearly collapsed, that was worse than the transfer. Yeah. <laughs> he said, we, uh, we can't have that here, he says, uh, we believe if you don't get the ball during the week you'll want it mo all the more on Saturday. And I said, well, if I don't get it during the week, I might not recognise it on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that's changed has been the chairman. Now, Barnsley, of course, in Joe Richards, had an amazing man, didn't they, Sid? Uh, well, uh, Joe Richards, uh, he was a character himself. Joe, there's no doubt about it. But uh, I think uh, he used... Well, how can I put it? He used to sort of dictate to others, you know, that uh, that's my opinion of him. He, he used Did to he sort of run the club, you know what I mean? Did he rule by fear? Angus Seed, well, in a certain aspect, yes. It, uh, Angus Seed, I, I think he would just, uh, you know, uh, go between sort of thing, you know. But uh, there's one, one thing, uh, I once got sent off at Sheffield United. Amazing. And, uh, well, <laughs> yes, a couple of times <laughs> in my career, a couple of times. But uh, this, this time I wanted a personal alien because Steve, Rich, uh, Steve Griffiths, who played them, was, was a captain. This was in the Central League. Steve Griffiths was the captain. I got sent off. I went to see Joe Richards for a, do, you know, personal airing at footballing. Joe Richards says, no, it's all right, leave it, you'll be all right. 
and uh, I, got, I got suspended for a fortnight. <laughs> now, that's the character of him. That's my, you know, my opinion like. Right. Danny, I must just ask you about this fella, this hard man sitting next to you. Yeah. A little bird whispered to me once that you were playing in a practice game and you walked off because he was so ferocious on the opposite side. No, that's no. not true. No, 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 I think that's probably mixed up with the story I said earlier about meeting him, about him running straight over me. No, that's mixed up with that. No, I, I would have thought that uh, uh, he occasionally gets sent off by referees because he was a striker. I don't think because he was a dirty player, but when you're playing a physical game, it's very difficult to draw the line. Now, with regard to Joe uh, Richards, Joe was a kind of dictator, uh, because in those days, the, the officials had much more power and control over the game. The players were almost slaves in those days, so the political power was with, the, was with people like Joe Richards and things like that, and I suppose they tried to do their best with it. But the power now is with the players, you see, the political power, because the freedom contract is now yeah. with the players. And in the game, I think the, the priorities are wrong now. See, I think the game should come first, because if there was no game, there'd be no clubs, no players. I think the club should come second, and then the players should come third. And it's the other way around now. I'd like to end by asking you both <laughs> just what Barnsley has meant to you. It's been a huge slice of your lives. Sid, yes, you've ten, always lived ten in years the town. Out of my life, anyway. And, uh, I really enjoyed it while I was down there. It was, you know, I mean, met some great characters like Danny, Jimmy Baxter, Johnny Kelly, Gavin Smith, as uh, Danny were remarking earlier on about Gavin. Uh, where does he work? You know, I said, well, he drives as fast as, does he drive it as fast as he used to run? I said, well. If he does, it's dangerous, you see. Gavin was a flyer, and I used to hit long balls for him. But I, I it, it, Barnsley to me was a most important step in my career at the right time. I got in the right direction in the right place in the right time. And I, I remember playing in reserves with Johnny Steele, uh, who, who I had a relationship with him, and then Steve Griffiths, the inside, the inside, come from Portsmouth and lived up here. I spoke to him on the phone a couple of weeks ago. He was a great, and, and Gordon was a wonderful captain, Gordon Pallister. Yes, then there was yes. play people like Archie White and Dave Lindsay, who was my right back. Story about Dave Lindsay one day. I used to like take short free kicks, and Dave was all screaming to take long ones. And we're, and we're playing in the rain, and the fans had moved around to both sides, you see. And, and, and when I looked back, the ball was there, and Dave was missing. You see, he used to run that far back to kick the ball. He tripped over the wall at the far end, and then was lying over the wall. <laughs> but he was a great character, and Bannister, we used to have to drag him out of the pub to play on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was Angus. Angus owned a pub, and if we lost a cup match away from home, it used to take us two days to get back because he didn't want to get back before the pub was closed because he'd get some criticism. <laughs> there was, it was well, great days, mon wonderful. A lot of fun in it, Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's been marvellous seeing you both yeah. again, and I hope you've enjoyed my, meeting my each other after all yeah, this. My pleasure, my pleasure seeing you. Sir Danny, thanks very much indeed. Well, the pride and the passion shown by Danny and Sid here is being carried on today by men like Mick McCarthy and Phil Chambers, Ian Banks, all local lads who, if they weren't gifted with sufficient skill to make the grade, would probably be cheering their team on from the terraces. There's a great camaraderie at Barnsley. It binds the club together, and that's its strength. And as anyone who ever played the game will tell you, a team that's together, one for all and all for one, takes some beating. That's Barnsley.